What's up? What's up? It's a man. A man. Everyone wants to Everyone see. That ain't too tight, right? Alright guys, so this is going to be the best method as of today, right now, after that patch for next gen and NBA 2K22, the fastest and easiest way to get in some nice my points towards your finishing badge, you know, for you to basically get that upgrade that you guys want. Now, the only reason I'm making this video because this is not really like a finishing build. So I was definitely having problems, you know, trying to get this play upgraded. So what you're going to want to do is basically put it on like anywhere between eight minutes, eight to ten minutes. And on pro difficulty, that's what I got mine on. But mine is officially ten minutes, though. But, yeah, you can do anywhere between eight to ten minutes, depending on how many minutes you're playing on your actual like nba team and then you're gonna want to you know basically load into a game and try to get team takeover guys and the reason i'm telling you that because when you get team takeover you're going to be able to control every single body every player that's on your team so as you can see right here i just got team takeover you're going to want to like basically just cherry pick or just like, you know, move away from the ball handling and stuff like that. Let the opposing team score so you can have a, a high chance of getting more finishing rep, finishing uh, my points towards your uh, finishing badge. So, you know, just let them shoot, whatever the case might be. And then you're going yeah, to, the just, first step, uh, when I you mean, get on the offensive side, you're going to want to pass it to like your second your primary ball handler. And then just call a pick and roll with your actual my player that needs the finishing badges. So, again, you're going to want to get team takeover. As you can see, let the opposing team just shoot anything, stuff like that, so you can get more, uh, you know, badge progress towards yeah, the finishing. Just talking, he might so, you're going right to quick, definitely want to do that. He wasn't talking uh, for him. You know, call a pick and roll. With your second ball handler, so I'm gonna just yeah, say most likely you will probably be like anywhere between like the one through three. So if you're at the one position, you're gonna want to hold the circle button and make him, you know, the ball handler and call your button, which is X, the uh, call for pick, the set of pick. My bad. So look, as you can see, as I call for pick myself, that didn't work. Do it again. Keep doing it until you know you see your man is like capable and wide open to catch the alley oop. And then boom, there you go, guys. That's going to be the fastest way of getting your badge progress in NBA 2K22 next gen finishing wise. Uh now the actual way was the Chris Brickley challenge, but they kind of passed that. So this is like the next big step, the next big deal for real for real again finishing badges. So uh let me know if this helped down in the comment section below and i will be posting on my official gaming channel which is day day 2 tv and i will be definitely posting all types of methods uh different player builds best jump shots and everything etc so uh i'm not gonna wrap y'all up enjoy the rest of the gameplay peace mp screen on clarkson and there's the lob trying to go for a lob there excellent defense and anticipation to stop it gay with the ball Hard covering. Gay, the pass to Bogdanovich. All sorts of time. Good as the jump shot falls. Bogdanovich has gotten his first bucket of the night. And off the jump, they were effective from deep. I don't know why they haven't continued to fire from out there. And the wrist injury for Boyan Bogdanovich set him back a little in recent seasons. Remember, he had surgery in 2020 and slowly returning to form now. And he makes them better. I mean, great skill level with size, a floor spacer who can also create his own shot off the bounce. For New Orleans, they've gone three of three to begin the second. Clarkson against Hart. MP, a screen on Clarkson to the paint. Out of bounds, it'll be Utah's ball. A sloppy turnover. When you're not locked in, pay the price. All right, the Jazz making a change here. Ingles is checked in. 
And the Pelicans also making a change. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Hart. Clarkson for three. Drops in the three. I'd like to see more of that from Clarkson. Just get more consistent from the three-point line. Steps up and knocks that one down. MP, a screen on Clarkson. Here's Alexander Walker. He's covered by Clarkson. And he's going for the lob. Uses the glass on the layup. MP's got 30 points. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Outside Bogdanovich. That shot, no good. Now New Orleans takes it the other way. They defeated Utah in their last game. Sometimes it's difficult to get good looks on the road, but they ran the offense brilliantly. Well, it was probably a good feeling in that last game that the mid-range work, the long-range work, the inside game work, but the best feeling was the crowd leaving that building not in a good mood. Here's Alexander Walker. He's covered by Clarkson. Out of bounds. It'll be Utah's ball. And I'm all for the crowd.